What's going on, everybody, and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. It's been a long week, and I'm getting ready to relax with some pizza here in a bit. But let's get you caught up on all today's Guns N' Roses news. Now, this is a photo I found on Twitter of Axel. Judging by what he's wearing, this looks like it's from 2016. I know the guy on the far left is some guy who's part of Axel's entourage. He's been in a bunch of photos with Axel before. He was, looks like the guy who was at Cantor's Deli a couple of weeks ago, where I was reporting about Mark Cantor and Axel may have, you know, mended fences. I have no idea who the other two people are. Maybe Axel showed up to somebody's wedding or something, or he was part of a photo shoot. I thought I'd share that photo with you because I thought it was interesting, and I had never seen something like that, and I'm sure a lot of people haven't seen that photo. So let's start with some of the probably our biggest news today was that Tommy Stinson had a, a pretty big story in Rolling Stone. So Rolling Stone did a profile of him, and you know, I used to subscribe to Rolling Stone magazine, but I stopped because I couldn't stand the the, the uh, how biased it was politically, and then also... Uh, because they don't cover rock music as much anymore. Like, you know, when they cover a rock band, it's like they give them like a paragraph and that's it. And everything's about pop artists and stuff like that. And, you know, it was actually refreshing to read this Tommy Stinson article. I really encourage you guys to read it because it's, it's a really good length that's really well written. And it's basically just the writer spending some time with Tommy, you know, how he's balanced, talking about how he's balancing music and being a dad. And, you know, of course, the topic of Guns N' Roses came up and we learned a little bit more in terms of why Tommy quit Guns N' Roses. So according to the article in 2012, his marriage went pretty south in a bad, bad way, forcing him to become a full-time dad. So it seems like his, uh, his uh, ex-wife isn't involved in the kid's life anymore. So now he's, he's a full-time parent to a nine-year-old kid. And at that time, he wasn't able to tour with Guns N' Roses because he's got to take care of his daughter. And he basically had to be forced to leave the band. And uh, his reunion with The Replacement, which actually had fewer gigs than Guns N' Roses, fell apart too. And he said, I'm glad for GNR. I would be gladder if it wasn't so, if I wasn't so broke ass right now, but whatever. And then he, then he laughed shortly after. So I'm not sure if he's joking or not, because I imagine he probably made a lot of money off Guns N' Roses. And I'm sure the Replacement reunion shows paid a lot of money. So I'm hoping that Tommy's joking, but uh, who knows the truth. And then in, later on in the article, it talks about how he was a member until June of 2014 with Guns N' Roses, and he revealed he wasn't intending to quit GNR, but he said he had to tell them five times in a row that his situation at home was so screwed up so he couldn't tour. And he said, I hope that was the thing that pushed the reunion with Slash and Duff to happen because I know all those guys and they're having a ball. He said he saw them twice on tour this past year and he's glad for them. And then he also talked about some of the unreleased Guns N' Roses recordings during his time with the band. He said there's some stuff with lyrics, some without. He said we did a lot of stuff that was supposed to be on Chinese Democracy and the record was meant to be more than one disc. And then, but he said after spending so much time on it, we just put we just put an end to it. He also revealed probably the most telling thing about the interview was that there's also stuff that was held over from the original lineup before they disbanded. So there's some stuff that I'm sure we'll see the light of day. And then later on in the article, he talks, uh, uh, of course, about his time with the replacements. There's actually some uh, uh, written parts about him interacting with his daughter and just talking about how he's trying to balance his whole life. But he comes across as a really good dude. And, uh, you know, hopefully things are, go smoothly for Tommy from this point forward. Even though he wasn't an original member, he's probably one of my favorite members of the band, like outside of the original five. And then, of course, Guns N' Roses are going to be playing two shows in Tokyo this weekend. And every show, they have a really cool tour lithograph. And this is the one that they're going to be having at Tokyo. I wish I collected these because this one's probably my favorite one I've seen so far. I know there's a lot of people on the forums who collect them. And then this is something that Slash posted on his Instagram page and on his Twitter page. And it kind of refers to spreading rumors. And I don't know if it's in relation to the interview that Steven Adler did yesterday um, about, you know, how he's the reunion wasn't what he expected it to be and how both him and Izzy wanted to be just of the original five members. Or maybe it was just more of a, just a joke, but that was something I picked up on and I wonder exactly what he's referring to. And then Slash uh, wished happy birthday to Eddie Van Halen. And if you guys didn't hear the news, Butch Trucks, who was the drummer for the Allman Brothers, passed away at the age of 69. And he just talked about how he was honored to meet uh, Butch Trucks. And then he also... Uh, wrote a message of condolence to Mary Tyler Moore. And then while we're on the topic of Slash, he's actually in a new video interview. It's just a brief interview talking about how he's urging Japan to stop hunting dolphins. If you guys have been following Slash, uh, both him and Matt Sorum have really championed like animal rights over the past couple of years. So that's a cause they've sort of taken under their wings. So I know they've talked a lot about dolphins hunting and whale hunting and that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to watch the interview, I've linked to it down below in the description box. 
And then our final piece of news is that there's a new photo with Slash and Duff. I believe this is in Tokyo. Uh, so Guns N' Roses are playing Tokyo in probably uh, 12 hours or so, give or take. And I'll have a full recap of their concert uh, tomorrow morning. You guys can check that out. And I also want to let you guys know I put up a new episode of Guns N' Roses True Story. I looked at the song Dust and Bones. I hope you guys go check it out. I've got another episode that's already up on my channel. It'll be going live next Friday. It's another song off Use Your Illusion 1. Uh, all I'm going to say is a hint, and maybe you guys can guess what song it is. Uh, the only hint I'll say is that Axel was probably one of the first rock stars to uh, basically wear a GoPro camera. So that's all I'm going to say. Should be a pretty obvious clue what song I'm going to be doing next Friday. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news and all things Guns N' Roses. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Guns N' Roses Daily. I will follow you guys back. Take care.